The people of Israel welcome the release of Jonathan Pollard. As someone who uh, raised his case before successive U.S. presidents many times, I long for this day. And now, after three long and difficult decades, Jonathan is being released. I wish him on this first Sabbath that he's going to spend with his family a lot of joy, a lot of happiness, a lot of peace. Spending 30 years is a tremendous amount of time for leaking information that ended up saving Israelis' lives in the Gulf War. Because as a result of his actions, we knew that we had to go and have gas masks here. Um, that if Saddam Hussein had used Scud missiles with, the nuclear, um, with chemical warheads, Tremendous loss of life is prevented by, uh, by him ten telling us that. I think it was a very unfair sentence. I think a lot of it has to do with the fact that he is Jewish. I think it was an anti-Semitic thing to do. It's so anti-Semitic, he can't even come to Israel. Why can't he come to his homeland? I'm happy that it happened, of course, but it should have happened a long time ago. But, you know, I really didn't think it would happen. So, I'm extremely glad. Seven years in solitary confinement and 30 years in jail is it's a little much, especially considering that people who spied for the Soviets and gave away much worse secrets spent way less time in prison.